Greetings, RC model geeks. And here we are, yet again, in the shed for part 25 of the Sarek Hobbies de Havilland Canada Chipmunk build. Right, well, this morning, um, oh, my time has been so short these last couple of days. Um, everybody just wants me to do something, uh, and none of it involves modelling. Uh, my girlfriend's parents came over from Ireland uh, on the ferry, towing a uh, caravan, and broke down just outside Cardiff. And let me tell you, Cardiff to Hailing Island is quite a long way. Uh, and they broke down in the middle of the night. Uh, brilliant. So had to sort all that out. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, what? Right. So, the wing. This morning I glued the wing halves together. I thought I'm just going to get that done out the way and then it's sorted. So I let that dry off this morning and uh, I only would, I basically would glued it. I would glued the spars in and everything else. I didn't epoxy it or anything like that. Wood glue will be completely fine for this. So the next thing to do is uh, I'm going to sheet the leading edge, I think, and then get that uh, just lined up on the bench, you know, with the weight on it while it goes off, if we can, <laughs> uh, if we can fit it on. And then I think while that's doing, uh, or drying off, I will probably, I've got to make the um, the rudder actuator and that involves a little bit of uh, silver soldering again so I might just do that so I think the first thing is we'll turn this wing round get wood glue splatted all over it and then uh, like we did with the first one uh, on the top sheeting uh, we'll just uh, tape it down with um, uh, with uh, masking tape hold it down and then we can get on with something else and uh, roll of honor thank you to Tony for your donation mate that's uh, wonderful uh, you are a star, just like everybody else that helps this channel. Uh, yes, so uh, that's it. I'm going to get on with the uh, on with the wing. Right, so we got the wing weighted down again. Got the sheeting on there, wood glued on there, um, and it's all uh, taped down. And then the weight is just holding it down uh, flat with air, um, a piece of uh, wedge wood that we've got, uh, that we've used before under the trailing edge again uh, to hold it at exactly the right uh, angle. And we'll keep that weight on there till tomorrow morning uh, to let it dry off, and that should be uh, nice. So, the next thing. And the next thing is, if we bring this baby in, we've got to make that, which is the crank for the rudder. The rudder mounts up here, um, and this all sits in the bottom of the fuselage, sort of uh, over here like that. See the wire running down there and down there. Now, uh, I'm going to be using 2mm piano wire on here, and I'm thinking, I know I've got somewhere a ball link, uh, or something like that, uh, in the back of my head, which has then got a clevis coming off it. Now, I quite like the idea 
of threading that rod there, putting the ball link on, and then having the clevis come off the ball link. So that's what I'm going to try and do if I can find the, the right parts in my stash. Um, I quite like that idea. If we haven't, then we'll go this route with some brass down here and that uh, silver soldered to the, uh, the torque rod there. Uh, there's also a bit of brass tubing here which acts as a bearing for the uh, this uh, this crank assembly. So I think first things first, I'll look for the parts to see if I've got anything that I can use. If I haven't, then we'll be making that back soon. And you can hear in the background the Harvard flying around. <laughs> back soon. Right. <laughs> oh, God. So, I've been having to think about this again. I've overcomplicated it. Um, the simplest way is to make that, thread the end, put a nut on it there, and then put the ball on the shaft another nut that's straight off to the uh, the push rod uh, really simple so we end up with something that's going to look sort of like that uh, simple as so that's what I'm going to do <laughs> uh, all I've got to do now is find the uh, the die <laughs> them two die oh, what? right I'm back in a minute when I found that. Okay. So, this is my interpretation <laughs> of that. See that? Yes, there it is. Right, so, what I've made is this. Slight lack of light in here. Uh, yeah, what I've made is that. Which is basically, it's the same piece of bent uh, piano wire with the brass tube on it. Obviously, don't forget to put the brass tube on before you do the bend. And, uh, yeah, there you go. It's just uh, a nutted on... Um, ball link so the ball is actually nutted on to this uh, bit of piano wire well cut the threads on it nut either side loctited it so that uh, you know the nuts won't come apart and that is it it doesn't really show up very well let's find a bit of white stuff see if it shows up better on that There you go. So, I mean, that is a pretty simple connection. Then <clears throat> the push rod just screws straight into there. Done. So, uh, yeah, nice and simple. So this has to be uh, bonded to... Uh, <clears throat> The stern post here as you can see you've got to make a like a, a wedgie uh, there and then it says nylon tape is wrapped around it and it's all glued together I ain't got any nylon tape I'm gonna use something else that I found in my uh, pile of bits here we go this stuff I think is used for making uh, old style hinges yeah fabric hinges um, yeah it is as well yeah 
so um, I'm going to use that, wrap that around the uh, the joint there and uh, epoxy it all together. Same principle, will work fine. But yeah, Carl, that's another thing we've never talked about, fabric hinges. And that's what they are. Anyway. Right, so that's it. Not a long video. It was only half a day. You know, when you're gluing stuff with wood glue, you can't go as quick as you can with super glue and epoxy. You know, we, we've got to let this dry off. We've got to let it dry off properly. Uh, so the bench is occupied. So yeah, don't forget the uh, the Big Shed campaign. Links in the description. I'm sure some people hate me saying that. Tough shit. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully. We should be back on track now to be doing videos every day. Don't forget, look at Sarek Hobby's website. Go and buy something if you fancy it. If you do, just mention that you saw it on RC Model Geeks. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.